Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to another interesting news. It has been learned that the ex president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mohamed Bari, has returned to Castina after spending weeks in London for medical treatment. It was learned that Mohamed Bari arrived at the Castina International Airport and was received by his aides and some officials of the Castina state government. The immediate past of Nigerian President Mohamed Bari returned on Monday to his country home, Dara, Castina State, after a medical tour in London, United Kingdom. It was learned that Mohamed Bari arrived at the Castina State International Airport and was received by his aide and some officials of Castina State Government. We recall that Mohamed Bari, who had been in London for the past few weeks on vacation, left the country days after leaving office on the first on the 29th of may while in london the former president hosted his successor ashwajubala metunubu and the speaker of as of the house of representative tajudin abbas it was exclusively reported that mohammed Bari was spotted in the london hospital looking pale and sicky Sources said they spotted the former Nigerian president at the Wellington Hospital in London, United Kingdom, last Thursday. Mohamed Bari was spotted at the Wellington Hospital in London. He looked pale and sickly. He was requested to take an to take an MI, MRI for an undisclosed element, one of the sources said. Magnetic renaissance. Resonance imaging MRI is a type of scan that uses strong magnetic fields and radio waves to produce clear and detailed image of the organ and structure inside the body. The Wellington Hospital is widely regarded as the private as the largest private hospital in the United Kingdom. On of its LinkedIn page, the hospital said it has four decades of experience providing private health care in some of the most complex areas of medicine and offers specialist support in, the, in neurosurg- neurosurgery, spinal surgery, and orthopedics. It was learned that the hospital comprises a south building, a north building, and a diagnostic and out- outpatient center, along with the Pantineum Medical Center, which specializes in oncology. The hospital is a part of the HCA Healthcare Group, an American company. On the 20th of June, it was exclusively reported that former President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mohamed Bari, yeah, his former nephew, Maman Dara, and his pr- private secretary, Sh- Shabi Utunde Yusuf, had left Nigeria for the United Kingdom. It was also learned that the three men who once controlled cabals in the presidential failure left the country in a private jet provided by a billionaire businessman, Alhaji Ali Kodangote. Mohamed Buhari, uh, who is a Nigerian politician, who is the immediate past president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who served as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria from 20, 2015 to 2023. He is a retired Nigerian Army Major General. He served as the country's military head of state from the 31st of December 1963 to the 27th of August 1985 after taking power in military coup d'etat. Mohamed Bari, under his presidency, the economy has averaged a growth of 0.9 since the administration first time. Unemployment is is at all time high of 23% and millions entered poverty. Since Mohamed Bari in 2015 has lost supporters due to his perceived energetic personality and contemplative decision making. In August 2019, the past president named his cabinet of predominantly male members with an average years of 60 and dominated by political actors or those who are close to the president. The cabinet includes two wealthy former governors from the Niger Delta, Tempri Yesliva and Goswila Babu, who were originally members of the opposition party, People Democratic Party, and 14 retained ministers, some of whom critics allege that 
had poorly had performed poorly or having a close relationship with a corrupt past as head of state. In May 2016, Muhammadu Bari cancelled a two-day visit to Lagos State to inaugurate projects in the state, but he was represented by Vice President Yemi Osibajo. During Bari's regime, Bari was an attractive choice to many Nigerians because of the perceived incorruptible character. Once in power, Bari had entered mobilized supporters in three previous elections and was slow to manifest his intention to solve problems he mentioned during his campaign. Determination to initiate his domestic policy agenda, like naming of cabinet, cabinet official, took six months, while the passage of 2016 and 2017 projects were delayed by infighting. In very first year in office, Nigeria suffered a decline in commodity prices, which triggered an economic recession. To source to source funds to close shortfall in revenue and fund an expansionary capital budget. Mamadou Bari traveled to 20 countries seeking loan, thereby expansionary budget allocation to finance infrastructure was pulled back to a further date. In the first year of the administration, Naira, the currency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, depreciated in the black market, leading to a gulf between the official exchange rate and the black market rate. A resulting shortage in foreign exchange hit various businesses, including petroleum marketers, However, the gulf between the official rate and the black market rate opened up the opportunity for well-connected individuals to engage in arbitrage, make, making a mockery of the president's anti-corruption image. In May 2016, the government announced a raise in the official pump price of petroleum to cut shortfalls in the commodity as a result of foreign exchange shortages. In 2016, Bari launched the Nigerian the National Social Investment Program, a National Social Welfare Program. The program was created to ensure more equi- equitable distribution of resources to vulnerable populations, including children, youth, and women. Wari handed over power to his successor, Ashiba Dubala Ahmed on the 29th of May 2023 at the inauguration ceremony in Igu Square in the Federal Capital Territory. He left the seat of power in Abuja immediately after the handover ceremony, in keeping the tradition of past head of state and president, returned to his home state in Castina, where he was received by state and traditional dignitaries, before evidently returning to his farm and family seat in Daura. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts or your opinion via the comment section below. And I will see you on the next news. Bye for now.